Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Angela. Today's video is a part two of my entire perfume collection. Now, if you missed part one, I will link it up right here and I will put it in the description box. There are some really, really good perfumes in part one, so please go ahead and check that out if you haven't. And if you love perfume, I also have a top five favorite perfumes on my channel. I hope you guys have a snack and a drink ready and let's jump right into the video. And the very first perfume I wanna show with you guys is Diptyque. I love Diptyque perfumes. They're definitely a niche brand and that's why I love it so much because they're very out of the box and a lot more artistic with their scent palettes. This is the Dosan, and you've probably seen these perfume bottles on either Pinterest or they're all over Instagram as well, and they're a very aesthetic bottle. So I got this perfume from a friend from Malaysia, and the first time I smelled this, I absolutely loved it. It smells so chic. It is a floral, musky, and kind of a little citrusy kind of smell. It is definitely a fresh perfume. So personally, I am more into the very sweet and strong perfumes, but I definitely love this fragrance because it smells beautiful. It just smells like a beautiful flower bouquet. And I just wanna bathe in this. I definitely think this is a suitable perfume for the spring and summer days. It's light enough, but also pretty long lasting. I will put up the notes on the screen, but some of them are musk, iris, rose, and tuberose. So that is a whole floral cocktail. That's why this is such a floral and fresh perfume. This is one of the best selling perfumes of Diptyque, and I totally think it is worth the hype. And next up, we have a classic perfume, and it is Trésor by Lancôme. And this is maybe one of the oldest perfume I have in my collection. This was launched in 1990, so it is a true classic. Mmm, it just smells super luxurious, very rich. And this just smells like a trophy wife in the best ways. It is such an expensive smelling fragrance. And I love this so much. This has been here for years and people love it. I have no idea how many bottles they sold of this perfume, but it is a true classic by Lancome. It is very fruity, sweet, powdery, and it is a strong perfume. So this is in Eau de Toilette, but it actually lasts a long time on me. I definitely think this is more of a winter fragrance and more towards probably nighttime, like date nights, romantic dinners, or if you have a night out with the girls, you will smell absolutely fantastic. And I love Trésor by Lancôme because it's just such a staple. And look at the bottle, you guys. This is just such an iconic perfume. Next up, we have a perfume that is one of my favorite perfumes ever. I did mention it in my top five best perfumes, and it is C by Giorgio Armani. I love this perfume so much, you guys. This is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It is a super sweet and fruity, very vanilla kind of perfume, and I'm just here for it. I love this so much. This has a great trajectory. It lasts on me pretty much the whole day. I get, I think, 10 to 12 hours of wear out of this one. I love the bottle. This is also a fairly new one, but I already used this much of it. I always get a lot of compliments wearing this perfume. And I know this is a very sweet perfume, but for me personally, I would wear this anytime. Any season, day to night, I just think this is the perfect signature scent. I know this is a very well-loved perfume. You probably have seen this before and smelled this before, but I do feel like it's very personalized because it does blend in with your skin and it does smell different on every individual. Next up, we have maybe one of the most famous perfumes and it is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. And this is a legendary perfume, you guys. The iconic bottle is just so beautiful. But this is such a 
lady scent. It is very citrusy and fresh. This is definitely not a super sweet perfume, but it is so delicate and elegant. It literally smells like Parisian vibes. I just think about Paris and croissants and berets and macaroons, and I just really in love with this fragrance. The first time I got introduced to this perfume was when I was 16, and I got it for my 16th birthday, and ever since, I've just been repurchasing it. So I have gone through many, many bottles, so it is very well loved and this is definitely an oldie but a goldie next up you guys we have Ricci Ricci by Nina Ricci and this is a very fun and playful perfume I just love the bottle the dark burgundy color and I did drop this part of the bottle so it did come off there which is really sad but this bottle still looks beautiful it is a very deep heavy and strong kind of perfume it could be a little bit much for most people I think you definitely need a bold personality when you're wearing this one and that's why sometimes I stay away from this one I have had it for a while but there's still a lot in this perfume I love this fragrance so much but sometimes I'm a little bit scared to use this if you're a very strong and confident boss lady you will definitely suit this perfume or if you just want to smell confident and very out there you will love this as well it is also eau de parfum and this lasts around i would say eight hours a good eight to ten hours so it is very long lasting i definitely think this is a nighttime perfume guys do not go out for lunch spraying this all over your body because people will turn their heads and maybe not for the best so this perfume is more of an eccentric one but i do love this and i'm happy this one is in my collection and last but not least we have a perfume by versace and this is the woman perfume I love this bottle. I think it's so feminine. It really just fits like the name woman. The bottle is super sleek and feminine. It almost looks like a witch potion, which I totally love. It is purple. It has like the little diamonds. Oh my goodness, this is such a good design. And I really, really like this scent. It is very sweet and fruity, but also floral. Some of the notes are rose, jasmine leaf, raspberry plum, lotus, and amber. I do feel like this is a very warm fragrance and definitely more suitable for probably fall or winter. This will be a very nice perfume for maybe a Thanksgiving dinner or maybe for more festive activities. I would highly recommend Woman by Versace. I do love the bottle. I love that it's so sleek. There's no hard edges really on this perfume. So it is definitely handbag friendly. This is also a newer perfume, but I would recommend it if you're looking for a statement signature of fragrance. All right, that is it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below your favorite perfume. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.